I didn't really need particularly much advice because I was decided relatively early on and I'd all known I wanted to go to uni and then I decided within the first three weeks that it was wanted to do a music degree and it sort of um although I seemed very sure they were still very supportive and you know they especially with the personal statement um and writing that they were really really supportive with that I had decided what degree I wanted to do before I even came to college so committed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um so it was just a matter of me talking to um I want to do a law degree, so it was just a matter of me talking to my law teacher, making sure that the subjects I were, was taking were sort of relevant to the degree, which they all were, which was fine. Um, and also I've deferred my entry and my tutor has been really helpful in kind of asking me what my plans were for the year um, and helping me to sort of find something useful that I can do. I think mm. I think that's good as well because you know it's not just intuitive you know it's not just they say right who's going to uni and then forget about everyone else mm. I mean there's yeah. like so many options and stuff like if you're not going to uni then they'll kind of bombard you with kind of literature yeah. about oh you could do this and this and this yeah. and this yeah. and all this stuff which I think is really good as well because mm. you know you don't want to just recently be left out. in tutorial we've just been doing about writing cover letters and CVs and things which mm. regardless Same. of whether you're going to university or not it's still useful. Mm.